Hi everyone, welcome to the seventh part of Azure DevOps tutorial. If you are watching this tutorial right from the beginning, then at this stage you must have an organization, a project, and a team. Now it's time to work on the project, and now it is time to learn about the Azure boards. Let's have a look on the agenda of this video. In this video, we will learn what is a board in Azure DevOps. What is the use of Azure boards? Who will work on the board? This is something very important because there are multiple members who are associated with the project. And in this video, you will learn who is responsible to work on the Azure board. What type of boards are available in Azure DevOps? That is also something which we are going to learn in this video. Let's have a look on Azure boards. An Azure board is one of the main service of Azure DevOps which is used in a project to track the work with Kanban board, work with backlog, team dashboard, reporting. These are the main feature of Azure board. Whenever you will be working on a project in Azure DevOps, you will have an Azure board. And in that Azure board, you can create and set up a Kanban board. What is a Kanban board? A Kanban board is something which will have the details of all the work items which you are going to deliver or work in a particular project. What is the meaning of work item? Work item means something just like the user story, the bug, epic, or improvement, all these things, the type of work you are going to deliver in a project that is called work item. In the Azure board, tracking and working with the Kanban board is very simple. Work with the backlog. Whenever you will be working on a product development, the PO or the responsible person has to create a backlog. The backlog will have all the work items which needs to be delivered in a current or upcoming sprint. So in the Azure boards, you can have all the details of the backlog. Team dashboard. There may be multiple teams who are working in a particular project. Creating a board for each team is something which Azure boards provides. Reporting. At the last, whenever everything is working fine, then to get the report, it provides you different type of charts, different type of reporting system, which is also available in the Azure board. Azure board provides drag and draw feature to update Kanban board. In Kanban board, you have to update your task, your feature. So updating that task is something very simple. You can drag simply from one column to another column to update the progress of that particular task. Azure boards are fully compatible with Scrum. If you are working in Agile or Scrum, then you have to work in the sprints. Managing those sprints or other rules of the Scrum is very simple and very easy in Azure boards. This is how your Kanban board will look like when you will be working on the Azure board. This is a sample which I got from the Azure DevOps documentation official website. Here you can see there are four columns. And then these columns have the multiple work items. From each column, you can see the status of a particular work item. Each work item is assigned to someone from your team. When we will work in the project for our board, then we will also create similar type of Kanban board to see the details of all the work items. Now let's have a look what is the use of an Azure board. Azure boards are useful in managing and track work. If you are working in a team on a same location or on the distributed team, then managing the task of the team is something very tedious task. If you are working with the Azure board, then managing and tracking that task is very easy because the Azure boards provides you a clear picture of all the work which is done or doing by the team. It provides a clear picture of the work done doing by the team member. You can track the progress of each member. You can track the progress of your sprint or you can track the progress of your product development with the help of Azure boards. You can give access of board to your stakeholder, allow him to see the progress of your development. If your stakeholder is interested to see the progress of the development in the sprint, then you can add him in your project, then he can see the progress of the current sprint in the Azure boards. You can manage Scrum sprint with Azure boards. Each organization is following the structure of the Scrum or Sprint for the product development and you can manage all these things easily with the Azure boards. Manage your product backlog. Backlog is the strength of the product and managing that backlog is very easy in the Azure boards. 
get different type of reports. Azure board is very important to get the report of multiple types and loads of other things that we will learn when we will work on the boards in this tutorial. Azure boards provides us loads of benefits which are useful when you will work on it and when you will see other features also. The important question, who will work on Azure board? The team. The entire team has to work on the Azure board. How? The development team will work on managing their work. Ultimately, the task, the work will be done by the development team. And the development team will be responsible to manage the progress, the track of all the work item on the Kanban board. So suppose if some task is in the to-do state and a developer is working on that story, then he is responsible to move that story from to-do to in progress mode. So that's how the development team will work on managing the work. PO will be responsible to manage the backlog. Each product requires a backlog and the PO will be responsible to work on the backlog and hence he has to work on the Azure board. Stakeholder will work to see the status of what team is doing. To see the progress of the team, stakeholder will work on the Azure board. Scrum Master will work on Azure board to get different type of reports and to see the progress of team. There are multiple types of boards are available in the Azure DevOps. Let's have a look on that also. There are four type of work item process while creating a new project. If you have seen the previous video of this tutorial, you will see when we were creating a new project in the advanced section, there was a drop down work item process and there were four values in that drop down basic, agile, scrum and CMMI. What is the use of that work item process? The type of board depends on these work item process. Each type provides different types of work item and workflow. In Azure board, work item and workflow is something very important to work with different type of framework. And these work item and workflow depends on the selection of work item process. If you will choose the basic one, you will have different type of work items and workflow. If you will choose the Scrum or the Agile or the CMMI, then you will have different work items and different type of workflow. So the type of the board depends on the selection of work item process. Now let's have a look where is this work item process available. So here you can see I am on the Azure DevOps portal and if I click on the create project tab over here, here in the bottom side you will see a drop down with the advanced section and here is one more drop down with work item process. Here you can see we have four type of values available. Agile, Scrum, CMMI and the basic. The basic one is selected by default but you can always change the value as per the requirement. In the next part of this tutorial we will learn the Azure board with the basic type. That is all in this part. Thank you for watching. If you like this video hit the like button, tell me your feedback in the comment section, share this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.